Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, Relentless in My Pursuits. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know our suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. Romans 5, 3 to 4. I'm told of several years ago when a young preacher went up to an older preacher and he said to him, I'm about to start a church. Do you have any advice for me? In fact, he asked, if you could sum up in one word what it takes to be effective in ministry, what would that word be? The old preacher thought about it for a moment, then responded, Relentless. You must be a person who is relentless always abounding in the work of the Lord. If you give up too easily, there's no need for you to attempt to accomplish much for God. Relentless is a word that is used to describe people who will not take no for an answer. They try things one way, and if that doesn't work, then they try another. But they don't give up. You who are about to break beneath the stress of intense struggle be relentless. Do not quit. A terrible thing happens to people who give up too easily. It is called regret. It is a nagging, gnawing feeling that says, if I had tried harder, I could have succeeded. In counseling married couples, one must always encourage them to be sure they have done everything within their power to build a successful relationship. It is a terrible thing to lie down, thinking, I wonder what would have happened if I had tried it this way or that. <laughs> Granted, we all experience some degree of failure. That is how we learn and, and grow. If a baby had to learn how to walk without falling, he would never learn. A baby learns as much from falling on his bottom as he does from his first wobbly steps. Problem isn't failure. It is when we fail and question if it was our lack of commitment that allowed us to forfeit the opportunity to turn the test into triumph. We can never be sure of the answer unless we rally all the talents, muster up courage, and focus our strength to achieve a goal. If we don't have the passion to be relentless, then we should leave it alone. But I'm encouraging you today, be relentless. The quote of the day, if we don't have the passion to be relentless, then we should leave it alone. As you face today in this time of chaos, uncertainty, be relentless. God bless you in Jesus' name.